My quickly pull out to get the shot camera is the Fujifilm X100F. This is the little camera that when people see you with it on the street, they talk to it like a cute puppy, but they just don't know the bite is much worse than the bark in a good way. It is a great quality and a pocketable camera. Camera. It is a great camera for beginner, amateur, and enthusiast photographers alike. It does have its quirks, like the viewfinder does this weird thing where it lets you see directly through it, but then it flips up and does this tint thing, or you can switch to live view. You can do all that by toggling the switch on the front of the camera to go through the different modes. It is nice, but most of the time, it's annoying. But still, this camera is great. With just two days of use, I was able to get these shots right here. It has a fixed 23 millimeter lens that is a 35 millimeter, exactly 34.5 millimeter full frame equivalent. Some say the perfect focal length and I say not long enough. The aperture ranges from F2 to F16, F2 being the widest and the softest. As an amateur photographer myself, I can't really tell the difference. I think it takes awesome photos, landscape portraits, and blurry test shots. When I'm out in the world, I keep the aperture between the ranges of 8 and 11. Unless I'm trying to get a shallow depth of field, then I keep the aperture between 2 and 4. I keep the shutter speed on auto and the ISO on auto as well, and capping it out at 3200. I keep it on these settings most of the time because I want to set it and forget it, but I will go full manual when I want to be more intentional about the shots I am getting. This is my, if I'm going out into the world and I want a small camera that takes great portraits, awesome for flat lays and perfect for street photography, that isn't my iPhone camera. Should you get it? I would say yes. If you're trying to get into the Fuji world and don't really care about the greatest or latest camera. Also, if you are looking for a great quality camera for flat lays, a small camera you can throw in your pocket and bag and take with you to families and friend gatherings, this is a great camera. Most importantly, if you have the money to dish out for it, or you have some gear you no longer use that you can trade in to offset the cost of the still too expensive, although it is nearly five year old camera. This just may be the camera for you. And that is it for today. Stay awesome.